All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot. Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cutter. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a $3 bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. The deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. Come on. Oh, you got. Yeah, you and me. You have a car, me. Come on. No time to rest. Come on, let's get out of here. 
this? Hey there, big fella. I got him. Quick, hit him! Not bad idea, Grandpa. You damn it! No! Second there, mate. I'll be right with you. my pride. Come on. Let's go, Nate. Here. You can get out the back. Stop him! I've got the old geezer! How's that? Ready to go, kid? Yeah. Let's go. You, mate. Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death. Or not. No. <sighs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cut her! Oh, no. Oh, shut, shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. What?
Here we go. Maybe upstairs. <sighs> it's gotta be in one of these cases. Museo cierra en 15 minutos. Ratita callejera, suélteme. Clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí. Quédate afuera. Pendejo. Don't mind if I do. <sighs> it was rotten anyway. Ah, now where did he go? Where is he going?
बची थी हुई What's he doing in there? I need to get a better look. Yeah, I don't want to rush him now, but you should move along. Yeah, I got you back. Just that I got a lady with you. You know how that is. Keep it going. Aquí lo tiene. Adios, amigo. Okay. I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way. Building. I bet I can spot him from the roof. Oh, who's your friend? Find a way to get that wallet. Okay, it's right there in his pocket. Now's my chance. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, so subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. The technique is really sloppy, though. You telegraph in all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, 
I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? Whoa. Oh, damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Stop the boy! Holy crap. You are done, kid. Stop the boy! Holy crap. He has the ring! Break the door down! Oh, God. He's heading for the roof! Break it! Hurry! Let's go! Ugh. Shit! Oh, crap! Who the hell are these guys? Whoa! 
Shaking for. Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Okay, kid. You can relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis... Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah. Uh. 
So, like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, well... Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. They're gone. All right, lads? <laughs> oh, God. Bet you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. <laughs> right. <laughs> here you are. All, right. All that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You head-butted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Yeah. You were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on his good side. <laughs> all right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? Let's get moving. Well, hurry it up, Nate. Shit. The filth. This way. What? Come on. Really? Come on, Charlie. What's the holdup? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh that wasn't too bad. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm fine. Blocked. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. <clears throat> oh, there's a thought. The wall's too high. Yeah. Let's move this thing over there. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Thanks for the help. Come on, move your lazy asses. All right, looks like the coast is clear.
You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Ah, uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. Yeah, I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> well, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? No. <sighs> Easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door scary pop inside him behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in, and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're onto. Yeah, well, at my age, it's a bird in the hand, you know. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. Seems pretty quiet. Think they're still in there? Well, we're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. No, we can't afford to waste time standing here. I'll find a way in and check it out. You three stay here. Got it. Where did it go? Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. Give me a hand with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Does anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. Are you sure this is the right one? Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. They were here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. Tire tracks. 
Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Hey, check this out. Oh, some kind of mechanism. Yeah, maybe. Four tires, four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You two, like there and there. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. And? Well, this has got to be it. Wait. Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. Goddamn cadaver. Um, Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Who the hell drives their car underground? Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. It looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels. Should be able to squeeze through here. I think. Lead on, Macduff. Oh, for God's sake. What? Lay on. It's lay on, Macduff. <sighs> Can we hurry it along with this, mate? All right, back there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, just keen on the old tight spaces, that's all. All right, just keep moving. Oh, thank God for that. Who the hell is Macduff? Is the man bottom to your ignorance? <laughs> what was that? I see them! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Nice one, mate. Thanks. right below us. At least we're still on the right path. Oh, that is a long way down. Careful, it's slippery. Okay, ready 
when you are. Christ, have you forgotten how to shoot them? What the hell's wrong with you? Quit screwing around. Out. Here it comes. Well done, mate. Looks like there's some sort of gate up there. How about you, Cutter? A little help here. Yeah? Sure, I got you. All right, ready? Pull. Got it. Okay, Charlie, come on. It's a tunnel again. It's too far to drop, but I will break our damn necks. Down here. How are we headed now? What in the world? Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate. Whoever they are, they are seriously weird. Look at the ironwork. It's got to be Victoria, maybe older. Man, all this stuff's been rusting for a century. Maybe we can get through here. Oh, no way we're moving there. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh... Hey, wait. It's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. One of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> ah, crap. Was there? That ought to work. this place. Good eye. Hey, thanks for having our back. This is Marlo's car. All right. From here on, no more guns.
Hands up. Oh, I don't know. We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't move. Oh, well done, mate. That a boy. What kind of place is this? I've never seen anything like it. Some sort of train station or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be almost 200 years old. Jesus, just when you think things can't get any weirder. Shh, get back. Take them out quietly. Done, Come on. Boys. They must have gone through here. And it gets weirder. Oh, this stonework. Looks like Tudor. 16th century. No, 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 not through the door. They're probably still in there. Good point. Up this way. Quietly, Nate. Over here. No, 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 seriously. Who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. 400 years of searching. Finally, Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. Quite the operation they got going here. stuff. Ew. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. It's not just any book, wise-ass. Belonged to T.E. Lawrence. 
know Lawrence of Arabia? Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. Here we go. L O H D N. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? Shush. No shit, long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. Would you shut up? It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. What the hell are we looking for, anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting. Well, what makes you think it's even here? It's got to be here. Well, it could be a Buckland Abbey for all we know. What? Buckland Abbey, it's a place you've never been there. Move on. Well, there's a chair there made from the wood of his ship. Trap. They're here. Take cover. Ow. Find a way out.
on. We gotta keep Ugh. moving. Watch it, Nate. This place is crawling with them. Where the hell are we? It's the North Atwood Station. Come on. And the guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. 
Mm. To a job, well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D's signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah. He was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see? Look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Oh, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. Well, I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait, if Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian, Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Ooh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Not too far? <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru? Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Come on, through here. Here it is, just like in Lawrence's notes. Gotta have more faith in me, Sully. 
Of course, I don't remember this ravine being on the map. Ah, they must have just put that in. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. Hey, is that a pan flute? Ugh. This way. Watch your step. Cool. I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? This doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. It's more like renaissance to me. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, now this looks sketchy. Ooh. Look, Sully, your first car. That's a 1927 Auburn. Yeah? What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn art. Pretty tacky. <laughs> now, the knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. Now, according to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep and the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia, that's where we're gonna find him. in this way. What about that window above you? I don't want to cut myself. Be right back. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. You good? Okay. We gotta make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. Get it open. This damn beam's in the way. Yeah, we gotta get some leverage. Think you can get up there? We can try. Wait, this'll work. Careful up there. Old damn thing's rotten. Looks like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Yeah. Must be how they lowered them down to clean them. I have an idea. coming out of the ceiling. Machine? A 
Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. Hey, Nate. Square Tower. Looks pretty old. Yeah. That matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That must be it. Nice. Thanks. Looks like we can get through here. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, come on. We got it. Watch it! Oh, thanks. Hey, Nate. Isn't this the same symbol that was on the tower? Yeah. That's gotta mean something, right? Maybe a secret passage? In a fireplace? Kind of on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, too simple. Hey, check out these suits of armor. Wait, Lawrence made a note about something like this. Yeah, here, see? Four knights, with an axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star. Just like the ones in this room. Maybe we gotta turn each night so it's facing the right way. Yeah, but what's the right way? I'll push, you pull. On three, ready? Wait, one, two, pull, or one, two, three, pull? Just pull. Got it. Nate? Hey, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll live. There's no way I'm getting back up there. I'm gonna head this way. Just meet me on the other side. You got it. You be careful down there. Right. Hope there is another side. What the hell is that noise? I should be able to get through here.
Way out. All right, I should be able to climb up through there. Piece of cake. Here somewhere. Hunt them down. I got warned, Sully. They brought a small army with them.
<laughs> Didn't see that coming. Army. Up this way. Come on, Sully, give me some help with this door. <laughs> All right. Well, which way now? I'm not really sure. One of Talbot's men. Was? But that's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? I have no idea, but I sure as hell don't like it. Hey, look at the tiles. Sabean script. I'll stand over here so I don't step on any by accident. Good idea. Did Lawrence make any notes about this? Let me check.
pitch dark in here. Want to give us some light? Some sort of laboratory, doesn't it? Yeah, this stuff's got to be at least 400 years old. Hey, a little more light, Sully. You got it. Hmm. Seems to be an alchemist lab. Wait a second. Does this place remind you of anything? Yeah. Marlowe's creepy hideout, now that you mention it. Sully. This is John Dee's lab. All the way out here? In France? Well, he must have traced the clues back to the Crusades, just like Lawrence did. Hey, look at this. Hmm. Sabian script again. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. There's some sort of message written here in a knocking script. Think you can decipher it? I'll try. The altar guards the entrance to the underworld. Huh. Well, he did use magic to conjure spirits. Yeah, or the altar could be hiding a secret passage. Oh. Right. Help me push. Crafty old bastard. Why, thank you. Not you. John D. Oh. Oh, here we go. Sully, give me a light. Yeah. Ah, much better. You know, one of these days you're really gonna have to start carrying your own matches. What are you talking about? Like they really wanted to keep something out. We're in. Here, give me a hand with this. Yeah. I got it. There you go. Looks like the family crypt. Your pal Godfrey must be down here then, huh? With any luck. If he knew anything about the Atlantis of the Sands, he took it with him to the grave. So let's find the grave. Exactly. Let's see. It looks like he was trying to solve this, but he never quite finished. What is this? Medieval game show? <laughs> Pretty elaborate. Yeah. Anything? He doesn't seem to be in any of these crypts. No. Now they would have hidden his tomb. Keep looking around. Godfrey, I presume? The one and only. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Here, hold this, way. Sure. <clears throat> Look, it's some sort of amulet. There's something written here. <laughs> Gonna do 
Do this right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh-huh. It's in Sabean script. Well, that'd be from ancient Yemen, all right. Yeah. Exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. Could be the name of a city? Yeah, from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. I wouldn't recommend that. Shit. <laughs> nice work, gentlemen. Harris, please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. Yeah, Harris. Come get it. <laughs> now it's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. Come on, Nate. seems to be dying out. Good luck with that. God, what a dick. Right? We gotta find a way out of here fast. Stay close. The torch is going out. We gotta find a way out of here. Wait, up there. You're clear. Huh? Yeah. How about me? Turn around. Oh, you're good. You okay? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's not go back in there. I think that's a good idea. Okay. We gotta find a way out of here. We gotta find a way out of here. Ah, damn it, it's no good. Alright. I'll see if I can find a way across. Watch yourself. I got it. Gonna go. I know, I know. Hey, that'll work. Yeah. Just like I planned. Now we gotta find a way down. Oh, hold on, hold on. Shh. Empty those cans. 
Every last drop. What the hell are they doing? Burn the whole place down. Oh no. Sully, we gotta get out of here.
That was close, huh? You alright? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Just swell. Here, Just give me a sec. You always seem to forget. I got 25 years on you. Oh, come on, Sully. You're strong as an ox. Anyway, what's the hurry? They think we're in that. We almost were. I gotta say, I'm losing the plot here. Remind me again why we're doing this? No, 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 no. If you're gearing up for one of your I'm too old for this speeches, spare me. Nate, these guys are playing for keeps. Yeah, so? What, you're just gonna roll over for them now? Nobody's talking about rolling over. Then quit acting like you're ready to lay down and die, all right? Listen, kid. I've had your back for 20 years. I'm not going anywhere. Obviously. I just want to make sure we're doing this for the right reasons. You got your pride all tangled up in this thing. It's making you reckless. I taught you better than that. You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hell. Probably get us all killed. Oh, no. What? Cutter and Chloe. Sully, if we were followed... Oh, shit. Chances are they were, too. We gotta warn them. Yeah, and get to Syria fast. Sure hope you remember where we left the car, because I am completely turned around.
Damn it. Still can't reach either one of them. Something is definitely not right. How long till this place opens? We got a few more hours before the tour buses start showing up. Then we better hustle. Chain's been cut. Okay, so we know we're not the first ones here. Yeah, as long as Marlow and Talbot think we're dead. We got the element of surprise. It's not wasted. Right. So, we sneak in. We find out where they're holding Chloe and Cutter. If they're holding them. Glass half full, Sully. I'm just saying, these guys don't seem like the hostage-taking type. Let's just go with best-case scenario for now, okay? We rescue Cutter and Chloe, and the four of us just sneak back out. <laughs> yeah, right. Sneak back out. It could happen. Mm-hmm. 